no match shuffles in of you. All right, let's buy the scales. I guess they're they're probably gonna be worth something eventually. How much do I get? It's at 17 and only one. So 100 fur for one scale. That does not seem worth it. Okay, never mind. Screw that. Bye. Stranger arrives. Cool. Yay! He gets to be a hunter. There you go. Go be a hunter. It says scales with an S at the end, so I assumed it's more than one, but nope, it's just one. I threw away a hundred fur just for one. And fur is a valuable resource now, because I need four friggin' hundred of it for a compass. I'm just glad this is a tiny village again. Gather wood. Grrr. Mm, I'm close to being able to make another hut. I feel like that's probably what I should do, just say screw it to the tannery and the smokehouse for now and just do nothing but invest in the hut for a while. Should probably also start investing in traps. I bought another hut by the way. But now that I think about it, traps are important too. Because they get me uh, fur as well. And if I have more traps I can get more stuff from them. So it looks like the villagers are the idle part of the game. As so long as I stay here, I can click these and everything will be fine and nice and dandy. So it gives you some incentive not to just tab out, but it looks like in the long run, I'm probably just gonna have to go somewhere else for like 30 minutes and just let the villagers have at it. At the very least, probably sleep at night and my stock will go up like exponentially. <laughs> oh, I got a charm. When did I get the charm? Was that from hunting? Wait, uh, okay, don't need to do anything there. Oh, two more gatherers. I missed that. There you go, you three hunters, I need fur. No, not trapped, shit, I meant stoke the fire. Oh well, I was gonna invest in traps anyways, that's what I was just talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Cool, another family. So it wasn't wanderers, it was another family. Okay, got it. Stoke the fire. Scales, teeth, compass. As far as I know, I have all the scales and teeth I need. Yes, indeed, I do. I need fur. Fur, I say. Fur. Some of the traps have been torn apart. Yes, we're gonna track them. Mm. Large beast. Okay. So I guess uh, <laughs> kill the beast. All right, <laughs> that was it. I expected a little bit more than that. It's just like, um, you just stabbed it with a knife. You just shanked it. It's dead now. There's nothing, nothing you can do about it. He, he broke your traps, but you got revenge. I don't even think it gave me fur. Maybe it did. It didn't say it gave me fur if it did. I do have a lot of fur though. You getting close to that compass. Oh boy, you better believe I'm gonna get that compass. And put on more traps. Oh. Okay. Ouch. Okay, so some people died. Oh, that's not good. Was that because I attacked that other beast? Probably. Wow, oh. why do I all of a sudden have eight gatherers? Shoot, I've been forgetting to invest my gatherers. Oh no, that event just like took some people away from the gathering, I guess. Okay. Is that a thing? If I have too many hunters, uh, beasts will appear? They'll retaliate because I'm hunting too much? I hope not. That could be bad. Oh, another stranger. Just in case having too many hunters is a thing. I have lots of meat, I can definitely make some bait. Stoke to fire. Yeah, let's get more traps. Oh, more traps. Won't help now. Okay, well, I guess now I have spare traps. That's fine. 
Next, we'll try and max hut then. Probably. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have enough for a compass. Awesome. A dusty path. Aha, uh -huh. I knew I was going to unlock something new that it'd be like a unlocking exploration mode or something like that. Cool. Oh, <laughs> cool. Armor and water and charm. I have a charm. Oh, I can increase it. There we go. Oh, three, nine of ten. Eliminate ten charms. Hmm, okay, I guess that's a late game thing. I should have invested in that compass then. Oh well. Hmm, more hunter. Click those. Stoked fire. Ooh. So I guess that's probably just a random event then? Because I didn't have a whole lot of hunters. I only had nine, I think. Predator becomes prey. Price is unfair. Is it because I had too many hunters? I'm just going to assume it's because I had too many hunters. Let's go with six. Hmm. I don't want to decrease it by anything more than that. How am I doing on wood? No, I'm not quite ready for the next hut. Stoke the fire! Now that I think about it, now that I have that compass, fur isn't really that big of a resource unless another nomad comes by. So I think I'll get some more gatherers just so it'll speed up my hut making process. Let's get rid of a trapper. That's probably good. Where is my bait? Bait is plus two. Meat is minus one per 10 seconds though. So one trapper less. There we go, my meat will stay the same, which is still a ridiculous number, but still. <laughs> Stoke the fire. Oh. Old wanderer arrives. He smiles warmly and asks for lodgings for the night. Why can't I agree? Oh, I need cured meat. Now I don't have cured meat. Oh, I, don't, I also don't have torches. Oh, okay. I guess I have to turn them away. That's sad. Could have got an old man. Oh, well. Poor old lady. Who knows? Might have missed out on some kind of big event because I don't have the smokehouse ready. I don't know how to get a torch. I mean, I'd assume you just stick the wood from gathering wood into the fire. I don't see any kind of option like that anywhere. Alrighty. I think I'm just gonna let it idle for a little bit. And hopefully nothing bad will happen. Wait, no, I can't let it idle because I have to stoke the fire. Dang it. There's no auto stoking the fire. And I don't want something bad to happen. Because I know that I'm living in the room with the fire. Wait, no, that's not true, because I'm also out here gathering woods and checking traps every day. So at least the house with the fire in it is my house, but the builder person who builds this stuff, she lives in there, I think, as well. Maybe. So if I let this get cold, will, will I die? And will everyone, like... Will all, will all shit go loose and everyone leave? Shoot. This game's looking longer than I thought and I, I really don't want to have to sit here and push the stoke to fire button. I could write a program to click the mouse for me, but then I won't be able to use my computer for a while. Hmm. Or I could use Google and find out if there's any kind of bad consequences from not stoking the fire. That's probably the safe bet instead of programming an entire program just to click the stoke the fire button. Which isn't that hard, but still. I'll close my eye on wood. Nowhere near close, okay. Yeah, let's consult Google. Okay, so 
if I move my save file or reset or something like that, the fire will go out. But other than that, the builder will, will eh. The builder will always stoke the fire automatically. Cool. So I'll just lose access to being able to click the gather wood and the check traps. Alright, cool. I am... You just give me a second. Yeah, it's been probably three episodes. I'm just going to let it idle for probably a few hours, and then I'll check it once before going to bed. Alright, so as you can tell by the numbers, it has been <laughs> quite some time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I didn't click out of this one because I'd already clicked out of it once. I I'd bought two maps and I didn't see any kind of gains or anything for it. Um, and then I said goodbye. And then like multiple hours passed. Because at the time I didn't have enough to learn scouting, but now I definitely have enough to learn scouting and so I'm gonna go do that. Anything... anything new? Uh, learn to look ahead. That, that's it. Okay. Well, um, as you can see, I've, I've maxed out my trap and hut, and I've done that multiple times because it kept burning down and beasts kept coming, and I, I don't know if there's any connection between amount of hunters and stuff like that and them burning down or whatever, so I was just like, ah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll just put a whole bunch of hunters and gatherers and birdie birdie blur. So yeah, I have a lot, so I can do these now. Oh, goody. Alright, what are my new options? No new options on this screen. And I still have a crud ton of stuff. Ah, okay. Fur and leather. And then meat and bait. Oh no, that's Trapper, I already have that. <laughs> meat, wood, and cured meat, I guess. But, oh. Oh, excellent. Okay, thanks game, I appreciate it. Not really. Ooh, that's actually gets rid of quite a bit of fur per second. I mean, I have tons of it. Oh well, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna just put like 10 on each. I don't know what a good number is. Probably not 10. Yeah, it's minus 50 per 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, of what though? Of meat and wood. I have lots of wood, and I have lots of meat. Alright, I guess that's good for the time being. I'll probably adjust that when I go to bed, though. And then Tanner is fur. Currently at 15. I currently have a lot of fur. We can also put that at 10. Alright, cool. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Stuff burned down. A workshop. Alright, cool. Did anything else say? Just, just the workshop thing? Alright, cool. Workshop. Not enough leather. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> what actually do I need besides leather? I need scales. I have the scales. I need quite a bit more leather. Pretty much double what I currently have. Wood, I'm fine. I'm fine for days. Don't you worry, I'm pretty ahead about that wood. Boy, I got lots of wood. Yeah, fuck it. I need to gather anything right now. And stick it all into tanning. Haha. <laughs> Give me that workshop. What am I at? Still 64? Ah, there we go. Close. Another 10 seconds and I'll get that workshop. I do a countdown, but I have no idea what second I'm on right now. <laughs> there we go, workshop. Ah, now there's lots of stuff. Ah, okay. Uh, still no option to make charms though. Charms seem to be really, really rare. Uh, wooden cloth, leather, wooden teeth, leather. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this game does get deeper. I'm gonna stop my playthrough here though, just because uh, I'm assuming that, well, okay, I guess I can try and do this. Maybe. Oh, I can add cured meat to meet my thing. Okay, okay. How much cured meat do I have? Ah, scouts of perks. Cool. Uh, oh, I have tons of cured meat. Awesome. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I'm not wasting my charms. They're rare. Cool. Wait, wait. Need to make armor. I should probably make like one or two of all these just to be safe. 
Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Oh, most of it was not enough stuff. Okay, well, whatever. I probably made some of that. Oh, I made zero torches. I, I have zero torches, really? I have some bone spears. But I can't add them. Why? Strange. And why can't I add these? Oh, it's because I'm bringing ten of the cured meat. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Let's bring all three of those torches. Where is... Armor is at none. How do I equip armor? Oh, I don't think I made armor. I think that was one of the things I didn't have enough for. Um... Cool, so there's actually a bit of research management that goes into it. Or not research, resource management. Wait, why am I getting charms on? Duh, I don't want charms. I wanted my other bone spear. There we go. I think that'll do the trick. Let's embark. Oh. Let's get a nice little map. Alright. Well. Wanderer. Battlefield. Ruin City Battlefield. Is there any kind of scrolling? Oh. Oh. A gaunt man approaches a crazy lookers. Uh, stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Eat the meat. Oh, I think one of my people died. Get him, <laughs> please. Thank you. Uh, why can't I just take him off? Sure. But I I clicked. Does it go in the direction I click? Is that a thing? Ah. Can I use the keypad instead? No. <laughs> that is not a thing. Alright, guess I have to click then. What? World fake starvation sets in. Okay, well I fucked up. But hey, that's a thing I can explore, but not here. I'll do it on my own or never, depending on how lazy I am. Anyways, this game looks interesting. I probably will play more on my own. But uh, I'm glad I got to share it with you guys, and that, that's gonna be it. Just because this game looks like it's gonna be the type that would just go on forever and ever and ever and probably not have an ending. If it does have an ending, if I know enough to know that it's an actual ending, I will film it and you'll get one last episode. But other than that, this is probably gonna be it. Yes, let's investigate the noises. It's always just teeth, yep, yep, it means trade some wood for teeth. That's fine. Anyway, bye. Stoke the fire. Bop, 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 bop. Stoke the fire. Dilly bop, 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 bop. Stoke the fire. Boop, bop, 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 bop. Gotta, gotta stoke that fire. Mm, yeah, stoke the fire. Bop, 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 bop. Stoke the fire. Dilly doodly bop, bop. Stoke the fire. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Huh. Stoke, stoke the fire. Gotta stoke it. Stoke the fire. Stoke the fire. Yes, you got to stoke that fire. Hey, you, you see that fire? Hey, you better stoke that fire, or else the person's gonna get real cold. You don't want that now, do you? Stoke the fire.